As a sound designer, you're always listening for weird sounds all the time. Anytime you're able to just record that interesting sound, you know, there's, there's gonna be a use for it that we can contribute to the Blizzard Sound Library as well. So the way that we create some of the sounds for StarCraft is you have to respect the source. You have to respect where it came from. There's definitely a tonality and a, and, a, and a character to each race in StarCraft that there's very, uh, it's a very specific range where they all kind of live. So for us, what made it really interesting was respecting the source and then going somewhere fresh with it. So for the new maps, Braxis Holdout and Warhead Junction, they are quite different than any other maps that we've put out so far in that they have different material types. Um, there are different textures that cover the whole map, so that requires a different sound set. So it's very vibrant. There's a lot of dynamics going on with metal breaking and shattering. Yeah, I think we could start just throwing some junk around. It really invokes uh, a different feeling than the other maps that supports the StarCraft universe we're trying to um, convey. So the Terran, um, they're kind of a dirtier type of sound for sci-fi. It's kind of really um, realistic and not very synthetic a lot of the time. When we recorded the uh, 3D printer, it was really cool. It was a really sci-fi kind of sound. There's a lever that comes up when you start the 3D printer. So I took little snippets of that and kind of mixed it in with some of the dirtier real life sounds and that, that worked out pretty well for the Archangel footsteps. Another area of the map um, that is really interesting are the cages, the holding pins. These hold the, the guardians, the ultralisks, banelings and zerglings. And when they come out of those pens and the ultralisks are screaming and, they, and, and the zerglings are hissing. And Someone reached out to us from within the company and they had a pet pig. Cheers. Cheers. You, you can't say no to that, that's gold. <laughs> <laughs> Put that last one again. That totally reminds me of the original Zergling. So we lower it in pitch. <laughs> then the final product, after some extra embellishment, we end up with something like this. A lot of the character and emotion in the sound is already there. It's on the other side of the mic where these, this magic happens. That's just a, that's just a happy pig. That's just a pig. That's Very just a happy, happy little pig.